A Tennessee man who left $5 million to his 8-year-old border collie Lulu when he died was a successful businessman who was known for having a controversial statue of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest on one of his properties. Bill Doris, 83, died late last year in Nashville but made headlines last week after it emerged he had left behind $5 million to his dog. The late businessman, who was unmarried and ran a bathtub company for the disabled, had left his border collie in the care of his 88-year-old friend Martha. His will specified that his $5 million fortune should be put into a trust for I don't really know what to think about it to tell you the truth. He just really loves the dog, Burton told local news outlet WRS. Burton admitted that she doesn't know if she could ever spend $5 million on Lulu, even with a lifetime supply of treats and toys. It'd like to try, Burton said, adding she's a good girl. Share this article Share Doris will specify that Burton should be reimbursed for monthly expenses to take care of Lulu. All purchases made for the dog will need to be approved by a conservator. It isn't clear what will happen when Lulu died. Burton had already been taking regular care of Lulu when Doris was still alive when he was away trapped. Prior to his death, Doris was known in the local area for having owned land along Interstate 65 where a controversial statue of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest has been erected for more than two decades. Forrest, who was also an early Ku Klux Klan leader and a longtime slave trader, was blamed for the Fort Pillow massacre in which some 300 African-American Union sodders were slaughtered after they surrendered. The statue on Doris land is visible from the interstate. It has been vandalized several times of the years, including in 2017 when pink paint was thrown across it. Doris never cleaned the paint off. The fate of the statue and the rest of his estate will likely be determined in probate.